My name is Kamil Shabinsky. That's me on the day of my christening. I didn't know then that my great-grandparents were farmers from around Warsaw with their own court of arms. I also didn't know how much I would be grateful to unknown people from a faraway country. Poland is under martial law, declared by the authorities to deceivably eliminate the Solidarity Trade Union with its leader Lech Walesa. Poland is under threat of military invasion from neighboring countries. And these are my parents. My dad, Christopher, an electronic engineer, works in telecommunications for seven dollars per week. My mom, Elizabeth, who used to work for Polish Airlines, temporarily loses her job. Basic foodstuffs are sold for coupons. I am already a few months old, and I am preparing to enter the world. Ahead of everyone is an uncertain future. There is still a threat of a Soviet army invasion. My parents make a difficult decision that at least mom should try to leave Poland for a democratic country. Shortly afterwards, she receives an invitation from acquaintances in the USA and a few le reference letters. My parents, being involved in the movement for supporting doors persecuted after martial law was declared, meet Sister Virginia from the Congregation of the Resurrection Sisters. Hearing of the plans of my mother, Sister Virginia gives them a reference letter to the Resurrection Sisters Congregation in Chicago, who run a hospital. My parents accumulate a few hundred dollars. In the end, my mother obtains a passport to travel to India, as it was possible to get one for the USA. She also receives an American visa. Full of fear, Mom and I reached New York via London. Unfortunately, the people who were recommended there refused to help us, and the remaining hope was the recommendation letter for Chicago. And this is how Mom and I reported at the office of Sister Bonaventure the administrator of the Resurrection Center. Now, I know that Divine Providence and the guidance of Sister Bonaventure and others make it possible for Mom and I to be accommodated free of charge in the comfortable conditions in the Resurrection Hospital. Excellent physicians Dr. Golek, Kismartani and Olek, who assist my difficult birth do so free of charge. In the end, I enter this world on the 30th of March, 1983, at 12.40 p.m. Afterwards comes our stay in the guest room, where we enjoy the motherly care of the sisters. In the meantime, in Poland, as a result of the actions of the international communities, the direct threat of the Soviet invasion disappears. Taking this into account, my parents and I decide that mom and I should return home. The Polish consulate added me to the, my mother's passport, and we were able to return home.
We happy to arrive in Warsaw on the 20th of April. I was brought up in Warsaw, which, next to Gdansk, was the main center of solidarity activity. As I celebrated my first birthday, the esteemed priest, Father Jerzy Popiuszko, was treacherously murdered by the authorities. The same year, we were visited by Sister Bonaventura. And this is me on my third birthday. In 1986, the whole family made a pilgrimage to Rome to participate in audience with the Holy Father. By good fortune, we were so close to John Paul II. In Castel Gandolfo, my parents were able to kiss his hand. The year 1989 was a breakthrough year in which the first democratic elections since 50 years took place. The winner was Solidarity, with its leader Lech Wałęsa. Most people in Poland wanted this end of communism. As I grew older, I became fascinated with our world and the people living in various different countries. I knew that the key to better discovery was to know foreign languages. On the basis of my American citizenship, I was able to enroll to the American Embassy School in the Warsaw in 1989. Unfortunately, the subsequent increases of fees at the school due to the changing value of the Prussian currency did not allow my parents to keep me there. I continued my studies at a Polish state school and later with the Felician sisters. Thanks to good turn of fortune, my dad then got a very good job and could once again cover the cost of fees at the American school, to which I gladly returned for the years 1994-1997. Over a few years, me and my family managed to travel to several different countries and meet many interesting people. In total, I stood foot on all seven continents. And here are some countries of these continents. Here we're visiting Easter Islands, located west of Chile. Here, the city of Caracas in Venezuela. Galapagos Islands, west of Ecuador. California China
Hong Kong. Rio Grande, Argentina. Christmas Islands, southwest of Indonesia. Sydney, Australia. Islands of Antarctica. Cairo, Egypt. It was a special year in 1993 when we went to Denver on the occasion of the Holy Father's meeting with the youth of the world. There we spent many unforgettable moments. On our way there, we managed to visit the sisters in Chicago. I recall the warmly care of Sister Mary Gillian. In 1997, my dad had changed his job and again appeared the problem of covering the fees at an expensive school. Because I was keen to continue my education in an international milieu, I enrolled at, at the French school in Warsaw, which was affordable to my parents. For the first three months, I didn't understand much. Though it was difficult, I managed to get promoted to the next class. My way for letting off steam is through the involvement of inline skating. My brother and I belong to the top team of Polish skaters. We compete internationally, often winning prizes. We write articles for youth press covering the sport. At present, I am ranked second in Poland in the category of street seniors. We also ran instructional programs on Polish television. I also practice other sports such as water skiing and snowboarding. Here, I'm at my first trials. Additionally, I have started to study Spanish. I have two years left to my matriculation exam. My desire is to study one day at an American university because I know 
that for me it is the best way to reach the top. My interests are not yet crystallized. However, I am interested in international relations, politics, and economics. I'm grateful to all those, thanks to whom, my study in the American school in Warsaw was possible, especially the CR sisters, who fascinated my mom's visit to Chicago, assisted my birth, through that gave me an American citizenship, through which I have been able to make contact with the youth of many countries. I am also grateful to my parents, who have spent all their savings on education and travel for my brother and myself. Perhaps some of the decisions were risky, but through the divine providence, all turned out well. I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy Millennium Year. W Wysołej powstaje mural ku pamięci Kamila Szybińskiego. 19-letni chłopak zginął tragicznie dwa lata temu w Kalifornii. Autorem ściennego malowidła jest zajmujący się graffiti Iwo Bonder, przyjaciel zmarłego. Mural to czterometrowy portret chłopaka. Niedokończone jeszcze obrazy to sceny z jego życia. Takie ściany pamięci w Polsce kojarzone są z kulturą hip-hopu w Stanach Zjednoczonych. Nie dziwią już nikogo.